Any ideas? I feel good by James Brown. No. Ian Amazon's got it. That was very, very good work from Ian Amazon. It's Prince Charming um, from Adam and the Ants. Prince Charming, ridicule is nothing to be scared of. Prince Charming, Prince Charming. That's amazing. Well, that's the first one uh, ever to get that for, uh, from that. So, you know, obviously my playing may be getting better. Equally, uh, maybe I was singing it to myself or something as I was playing and gave it away. Prince Charming, Prince Charming. The squeaking is upsetting the dog, says uh, Sit Down Jim. Welcome to Me One Versus Me Two Snooker. It's only partly a name that tune played on the snooker stick with the old blue chalks. Um, welcome, hello ball bags. Uh, hello slag hags. Uh, anyone who's listening and watching is welcome. Uh, you'd think it'd be worth a prize, wouldn't you? Uh, ready, steady, cookie. But the prize is the pride that you feel uh, in getting the correct answer. Also, you know, fuck you. Fuck you, Ian Amazon. Um, he probably has spies in my head using technology. Uh, this is uh, ostensibly me versus me at Snooker to find out if me or me is best. We've been playing for a few years now. and This is frame 176 officially. Uh, obviously, we did quite a lot of extra ones during lockdown. Um, and uh, first of all, I should say Denny Lane's family have been in touch and felt that my uh, singing Penny Lane to the... Denny Lane to the tune of Penny Lane was insulting. And uh, so uh, I've had to look for a new person to name the arena after. Um, I was very tempted to name it after Lamb Chewing. Come on. But that would be considered racist, I suppose, in this day and age to do that. Uh, so instead, uh, I'm going for Fusa Tatsumi. It's like a child saying Satsuma. Can I have a Tatsumi? Uh, fusa Tatsumi. It maybe it's a football, foosball table with a Satsuma as a ball. Uh, who I didn't hardly need to tell you that Fusa Tatsumi is a 116 year old or was a Japanese super centenarian. Uh, they lived uh, the curse of getting old. They were the oldest person, I think, in Japan alive currently, and now they no longer are. The fifth longest living uh, Japanese person. Of all time. Sorry to break it to you if you just heard about old Fusa Tatsumi. I love a Satsuma with Fusa Tatsumi. Um, I, love, I like some sashimi with Fusa Tatsumi. I like sushi with Fusa Tatsumi. And I like going up Mount Fuji with Fusa Tatsumi. That's what they used to sing about it. And um, they still can. That's the beauty of it. Uh, but... Uh, Lamb chewing, I want you to know, you came very close to having the arena named after you. Uh, Costa Nestor Oredis. I mean, there's a lot of people that I feel have been put in here as a, a kind of trick joke. Costas Nestoridis. This is a ridiculous cost for a nest. That's what I've done if it was him. Uh, he died. Um, Shirley Barber died, the 88-year-old English author. Um, no good to me. Mario Valdemarine, the uh, Italian actor, 96 years young. But uh, Fusa Tatsumi chumps them all, both by living to 116. That's 100 years longer than some people manage. I mean, it's 116 years longer than some people manage. It's We've all lived infinity longer than most human potential human beings uh, could last. So um, they manage. So, you know, think on. Think on that. We're all lucky to be here. If you're listening to this or watching this, you're lucky to be here. You're lucky to be alive. And if you're not listening to it or not watching it because you're dead, not just because you're not interested then, you know, you're unlucky, aren't you, when you think about it. Anyway, look, before we crack on, we've got the Fusa Tatsumi Arena. Let's go to the 804 football scores. Group A of the Champions League, FC Copenhagen, nil. Galatasaray, nil. Manchester United, an English team, nil. Bayern Munich, nil. Everyone wants Munich to win. Group B is the results, but Lens have beat Sevilla. But of course Lens have beat Sevilla because they're a Lens and they can just shine light in a focused fashion into the eyes of the Sevilla players. Uh, Arsenal also drew, but we're not here for results. Uh, Group C, uh, 1, FC Union Berlin, nil. The Real Madrid team, nil. Uh, Napoli, nil. 
Sporting braggarts. That's a, they're they're braggarts. The sporting braggers. They just brag about how good they are at sport. Well, let's see. You haven't scored a goal in the first minute, so maybe not as good as you think you are. Group D: FC Red Bull Salzburg, um, nil. Benfica nil. And that's uh, Salzburg is officially called Red Bull Salzburg. The whole city has been sponsored by Red Bull, and Red Bull have made it fly uh, in the sky as well. So the whole city of Salzburg is flying with wings. And is now sponsored by Red Bull. Uh, Inter Milan, nil. And Real Sociedad, nil. That's the real one. You're not my real Sociedad. That's what the false Sociedad gets all the time from his children. You're not my real Sociedad. And then uh, the real Sociedad goes, yeah, I am your real Sociedad. And then they say, well, why did you go, real Sociedad? And the real Sociedad says, sorry, look, just go with pretend Sociedad. He's all right. Uh, championship Blackburn Rovers nil, Bristol City nil, Huddersfield nil. Preston North End have got, uh, got the one of the players got the ball, kicked it. Another player flicked it on, bang in the net. Rotherham nil, West Bromwich Albion nil, Stoke City nil, Swansea City nil. Watford one, the Watford Imps are one nil up against the Ipswich Town Idiots. Because uh, Elton John will be delighted by that. He loves Watford. Sunderland nil, Leeds United nil in the FA Cup first round. I think this is being replayed due to an ineligible ineligib player being fielded. I think that team should just be kicked out. Uh, Scarborough Athletic nil, Forest Green Rovers nil. I might be wrong. Sorry if I've got the wrong end of the stick. Second round replay: Barnet nil, Newport County two. Uh, they're going to win. Crew Alexandra nil, Bristol Rovers one. They might win. Port Vale one, Stevenage nil. Stevenage is my local town, as along with Luton, who, the cunts. Walsall one, Alpha Spout, Fal, Fal, Sprout town nil. In League One, Reading are drawing nil nil with Oxford United. In the EFL Trophy, Accrington Scanley are drawing nil nil with Lincoln City. In the National League, Barnet P, Dagenham and Redbridge P. In the National League North, Bly Spartans P, Scunthorpe United P, Chorley P, Alpha Falfa Fal Fal Sprouts P. They can't play two games. That's why that one got postponed. That's my guess. Chorley nil, Buxton nil. Chorley, oh, they play, Chorley have a match zone and playing a match. That's pretty impressive. Farsley, Parsley Celtic nil, Curzon Ashton nil, Gloucester City nil, Peter Cone to Loster on my, uh, can I have my ball back tour? Kurt Peterborough Sports nil, Kingsland Town nil, Banbury United won. FA Trophy, FC Halifax Town nil, Altrincham nil, Hyde Town nil, Whitehawk nil, Whitehawk, Rochdale nil, Gateshead nil, Western Superman nil, where I was, used to grow up nil, Woking won. Radcliffe nil, Redditch United nil. Of course, York City are already out of the FA. They're out of all the cup competitions to concentrate on the league, and that's why we're doing so well in the league. And the Scottish Championship, Greenock Mutton won in Venice, Caledonian Tickles, nil. So that's the scores of the footballs. We're going to try and whisk through this. I'm pretty tired. I've had a full on day. Um, and, you know, just uh, things, just, uh, just going from thing to thing. Uh, I've talked to a man in Ukraine today. That will go out on Christmas Day. You're going to enjoy that. Uh, I was meant to be talking to Sarah Pascoe. She's not well. Uh, I've uh, been to look at a house. And I've... Uh, what else? I feel like I've done loads of stuff. Oh, I sent off some balls to people who won their balls from the mailing list. I feel like I've done more than that. I ran 10 kilometres yesterday. I'm wearing a Christmas jumper. Homer Simpson, he's got all confused and tangled up, hasn't he? Oh, right. Let's uh, let's talk to the players. Of course, uh, this current score is me one eighty four, me two eighty one. Me one though, me two did just just win last time show fifty two fifty four. Before we uh, crack on, I wonder what uh, Cocky Carrot thinks uh, the scores will be. Did somebody say whores? No, it said scores. What do you think the scores will be? Ooh, 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 ooh. Scores, scoring with sex. Woohoo! What do you think the score will be? I think, woohoo! Me one will win. Uh, 69. Woohoo! Did somebody say 69? To. Um, try and think of another rude number. Well, there aren't really any. 69 is the only one. 69! Woohoo! To 30, 33. Size breasts, 33 size breasts. Woohoo! So, me one prediction for me one. First prediction for me one for a little while. Um, will me one do it? Let's go over to me two, who won last week. How are we feeling, me two? I just want to get on, let my snooker do the talking. I'm not interested in being interviewed. Uh, I'm on a roll, and um, not literally, not standing on a, some bread. It's good to get some humour injected into the sport. But um, I feel I can win. I feel like I should have won by more last week. I can't remember. I can't remember anything about it. 
and um, yeah, we've got no, I've got no peace. Do you think um, that people, legal immigrants, will be sent to Rwanda? Um, yeah, whatever. I don't, you know, I don't think it's a sport. I'm a sportsman. I don't get involved in politics, and I don't think anyone should get involved in politics unless they're an actual politician. So anyone preferring an opinion about that is an idiot unless they're actually a politician. So let the politicians do it. If you're in the street saying, oh, I think this or I think that, do your job. You are paid to do your job. You're not paid or to, to paid to be unemployed. Don't give opinions about stuff that you don't know anything about. So if you're Gary Lineker, just do football. If you're a plumber, just do plumbing. Nobody should be allowed to vote. Nobody should be allowed to express an opinion unless they're already an MP or a politician of some kind. And then they can say what they think. And well, that's good. But they're not allowed to give their opinion about anything apart from politics. So if a politician starts saying, oh, I think uh, Hurricane Higgins will win the snooker, then you've got to go, no, mate, you stick to what you do. And then that's the only way we can make this country work and this democracy work is if we all just do the thing we do. You're a comedian, Richard. Just do jokes, nothing else. Well, can I comment out on the snooker? No, because you're a comedian. So do jokes and nothing else. OK, and start doing some jokes. Go and do a joke now. Um, what time do you go to the dentist? I don't know. 2.30. 2.30. I like the way you've taken out the racial element of that, at least. Thank you. I did that joke for my son t today, and he didn't get it. I think your son may be simple. I, that's not for you to say. You're not a doctor. Just stick to snooker, talking about snooker. Um, OK, fair enough. Um, yeah, so I'm going to win and I'm just going to do the snooker stuff and I don't care about Rwanda or immigrants or anything outside of the snooker arena. That's fair enough. And I will never comment on anything outside the snooker arena. OK, unless like an immigrant comes into the snooker arena, then I'll comment on what I think should happen to that immigrant. OK, uh, me one sitting down. I respect you've got strong views about illegal immigrants. I do, Richard. I don't believe that I, just because you do something, you're not allowed to talk about politics. That would be insane. Um, I think everyone should be allowed to express their opinion, however wrong they are. And the people saying that the government are wrong to send people to Rwanda and that illegal immigrants should be allowed in the country, they are wrong. Let them say it. But they're wrong. Send the immigrants to Rwanda to teach them a lesson. It's perfectly safe there, by the way. But take, send them to Rwanda as a deterrent, even though Rwanda is lovely, obviously. Make them go there as a deterrent. And other people go, fuck, I don't want to go to Rwanda because you know, they don't like gay people there or whatever. And they don't really like immigrants. And uh, But the, remember, it is perfectly safe as well. So do that. Do both those things. I wish we hadn't opened up that can of worms. Let's go over to Commentator 1, Commentator 2 in the Fusa Tatsumi uh, Arena uh, on Mount Fuji. Let's let the games commence. Hello, Richard. It would love great to be back. Uh, Commentator 2 loved the game last week. He's really start, starting to see the point of it. And, um, <sighs> oh, sorry, we were doing this, something. So here we are in the Fuse de Mentor, and it's uh, me one to break. Will he go in off? That's what everyone thinks he does every time he hits a ball. The cue, the, tr the triangle not set up very well. He hasn't gone in off. Oh, has he? No, he hasn't. Going to get a bit more light on referee one, the delightful referee three, one, whatever she is. She's done a good job here. There's quite a lot of t things in the way. <laughs> Me too. Can he do a three ball plant? This will be amazing if this comes off. Oh my God, it came off. Me too is in the lead. And there's a, there's a barrier in the way, but it's going for the, oh, it hits the post. It's one nil to Me too. Just hit that a little bit too hard. Could have cleared the table from there, I feel. But a bit of uh, clear wind behind him. Can Me one do a plant? He's gone in off. I could have told him that was going to happen if he'd listened to me. Me one has the worm turn. Has the run of luck ended? Let's see. Me too. Can he pop this long red? Of course he can. That's beautiful. And look at that. Beautifully done. So that he comes on to the black. He pat. He pots the black. Me too means business. Uh, I don't think he's going to get... There's another potential plant there. I think he can't, might not even be able to hit the first ball, though. Oh, good try from me, too. He's trying stuff. That's what you like. Calculating, calculating. Me, one, zero. Me, two, 13. 
me one. Needs a pot here. Oh, he hit it too hard. It jumped into the pocket. Jumped out of the pocket like an illegal immigrant. Jumping out of the plane on the way to Rwanda. Me too. He's going for another plant. He hasn't got it this time. Oh, has he? He has. He has. He's done a brilliant... Did he get two balls in there? I don't know if he got two balls in there. Was that two balls? You guys were watching. I think two balls... I heard another ball go down. Was it two balls? Two in. It's two points for me too from one shot. Amazing. Can he get this black? Can he get this... The highest break of the tournament so far? Oh, my stars. He's on such form. And look at that. He's all down the table onto another red. He's got a break of nine from just two shots. Some people would have said that's impossible. Oh, he's hit that two straight. What a shame. He's up to 22 without response. And me one it looks like a little boy who shat his pants in school as he tries to make some headway here. Fails. Me too. I don't think he can get a plant here, but am I wrong? Oh, oh and a lucky break there from... And not literally a break, but it, that was an easy one into the top. Me one. Oh, again, hits the post. Jumps out. Me too. He's got one. I mean, this is incredible stuff. He thinks that blue will go down into... Oh, no. It didn't. Me too gets another point. It's 23 nil. Me one. He needs to start scoring some points and he needs to start scoring, scoring them soon. And there's one of them. There's one point. Can he make it three points? Yes, he can. He's, he's now me one. Realised how serious this is. He's got two balls in a row. Three points. Oh, me one's just st stood in a box of tissues. Oh, he hasn't got... Oh, has he? No, he hasn't. Three points. He's officially, I think, tw I think it's 23-3. It might be 24-3. 23-3. Me too. And he's not going for the obvious one. Uh, does the, oh, no. Me won. Mm. Eyeing up the opposition. <sighs> me one's gone in off. This is a disaster for me one. If anyone's going to get 69 here, it looks like being me too. 27-3. Me too. Has a give me here. He can't go wrong here, surely. He's potted the red. I think he tried to screw back for the blue, but he might have to settle for the brown. And he settles for it. Not only does he settle for it, he smacks the fucker in right into the fucking pocket there. Can this brown go down on the spot? Oh, it can. That's a disaster for me too. A real disaster. The brown goes right in front of the cue ball. Oh, that's a real shame for me too, because he actually, he pulled off the, the shot and hit the red, but unfortunately he just tapped the brown with his cue as he did it and gives away four points. It's seven plays. 32, I think. Yes, so does Andy McH concurs. Me one. Can't really do much here. Oh, can he? No, he can't. Me two. Oh, he's just, he is literally in flames. That's a beautiful pot. He surely can't get this black, but he's going for the black. And surely I'm wrong. He can. He's just can get everything, everything he touches. Turns to being potted. Another break of eight. I think it's going to end there, but, you know, who knows? He needs an extension here. Oh, he nearly got it as well. So eight points to me, two. Whew, he's zooming away with this. Me one needs to seriously think about how to play snooker here. And that... Oh, oh, oh me one. Cheeky as fuck. That's what they call him. Oh, he missed. Has he missed the black? Is it going to go in? Oh, he's got it. It bounced out, went back in. So me one. Cheeky as fuck. That's what they call him. And uh, he needs to try and get this red. He's, uh, he's hit the red and maybe got a snooker. So that's good play from me one. He's not giving up. Gaggly ding, gaggly ding. Me one, 15. Me two, 14. Me two. Is it a snooker? That's the first question on the lips of those that give a fuck. 
pretty much is a snooker and it's quite a hard one to get out of. Me too. Oh, that was nowhere near. It's been called a miss. Five points to me, one. Oh, this time, that, well, you've got to watch that. You have got to watch that back on the YouTubes if you're not watching live, because that's his, me one in trouble there. Gets out, he isn't quite a snooker, uh, but me too. And he's managed to get another snooker, me too. Surely we'll get this one though. Yeah, he's out of that one. <sighs> me one, only 20 points behind. Whoa! Seemed like a bit of a push to me, but referee three has not noticed it. Me one pots the red. Bit of luck. Can he get this? Yes, bit of luck for the black. And this is me one coming right back at you like Cleopatra. Now it's a snooker, snookered themselves. Oh, and that was disappointing from, it's been called a miss. So me one gets a break of eight. So far giving away four. Oh, misses, but that was a, that was an acceptable miss. So eight points to me two. Can me two get that? I don't think that red or yeah, so yellow will go through. He's going for a snooker. Hasn't quite got the snooker, me one. Oh, he's done something better. His me one's gone in off. Again, and now me too, stretching that lead like someone stretching someone's anus with their fist. Uh, 28 plays 52, that's what I've got. Me too. Oh, the ball jumped off the whole green board. Me one gets four points. He's snookered, he's allowed to play anything as a yellow. He's playing the black. He pots the black, comes down for the actual yellow, but the black only counts as two, of course. Oh, superb pop from me. These two have improved, he's snookered himself again. Oh, and then absolutely missed there, trying to go for the green. So he gets four points, but gives away four points. I've got it as being 36 plays 56. Me too. Can he knock this gently into the centre pocket? Oh, it dances around the centre pocket. Me one. He twats it, nearly breaks the uh, lampshade. Me too. Beautiful strike from me too. May have snookered himself. He's going to come off this way just in case. Oh, gets three, gives away five. And it's not, the game is not over yet. There's 22 points on the table. Can me two get four of, me one get four of them. Me one's got four of them. And then has snookered themselves though. Gets out the snooker, he's gonna pot it. Oh, very nearly. Me one up to 45, me two on 59. And a pretty easy strike for the blue. He's got the blue. Surely me two has got this now. Oh, <sighs> me too, finds himself 19 points ahead. It's 64, plays 45. Me one, needs a snooker or two. And he's not gonna get it playing like that. Me too, just needs to pop this pink. Oh, it jumped out of the pocket again. Hit it just a little bit too hard. Me one mustn't pop this. Oh, I'm going off. Oh, me one leaves the pink dangerously close to the pocket, but a long shot. But me too is equal to that. This new me too, version two. He doesn't pop the black, he doesn't need it. Me too, very close, 71, so close to that 69. Plays four, oh, I've, I've actually fucked up. Actually, I've, fucked, I've done the wrong scores. Uh, it's 70, plays 45. Incredible stuff. Um, and the score almost right, except the wrong way around. 70, 45 to me two, 70, so 45 to me one, 70 to me two. 
It's 84, 82, it's two frames in a row for the very strong breeze. Very close to 69, but of course the wrong player getting 69. Um, oh, what, a, what an amazing stuff that was. What do you think, commentator too? Yeah, it's good. I'm really getting into this game now. I couldn't even talk about it. All right. Right, back to you in the studio, Rich. Thanks, yeah, would you, let's get this shit over with. Um, well, what can I say? You know, one week you think, oh, well, one of these players is better than the other, and then next week another one, you think, oh, no, maybe it's him. Let's see what commentator, to, uh, sorry, that me too has to say about all of this. Hello, Richard. Uh, as I said, I just want to let my snooker do the talking. I don't care about anything else. Don't care about the poor. Don't care about Christmas. Don't care about me one. Don't care about me one's wife and his happiness. My own unhappiness and loneliness. All I care about is getting slightly more points than the other guy. This time, the, what, 25 points more than the other guy? Clear victory for common sense. I'll be back like Arnold Schwarzenegger. And I will win next time as well. And that is a gu that's guaranteed. Not an actual guarantee. Uh, me one, anything to add? Well, I hope that me too will be found to be an illegal immigrant and sent to Rwanda. Because apparently it's very nice there. So that's why. I'm, it's a nice thing to wit. It's a lovely place to be. And they treat gay people like me too very well out there as well. That's what I've heard. So, Well, there's maybe some sour grapes there, but... Uh, some old-fashioned attitudes, and I'd like to apologise to any younger listeners and viewers for those old fact. There's a 56-year-old man, me one, and sometimes uh, he expresses opinions that uh, may be offensive to the young and to old and to right on old people like me. Anyway, uh, we'll be back next time with another name that tune. Do get see if you can beat uh, Ian Amazon at his own game, and. Uh, it might be a twitch of fire. Let's have a look. Is there going to be a twitch? Oh, I'm so tired. So tired. I don't do so much for you guys. What do I get? What do I get? Nothing. Just want to see what I'm doing on Thursday. I don't think I'm doing much. Oh, yeah. Kate's out. I'm in. Could happen. Could happen. Twitch of fun on Thursday. Tell your friends. Uh, can I have my ball back? The tour. Come and see that. That's all on sale now. And, um,. There's still Rahula supposed to go, of course, and I'll be booking in some more guests. We've got Bob Mortimer on the 22nd of January now, as Bill Bailey, I was uh, led to believe, was going to do the show by his publicist, who turned out to not have the authority to make that call. Right, but look, we've got Bob Mortimer, so you can't really complain, can you? The only problem is I was going to have him on February the 12th, where Bob Mortimer, but now I've moved him to January the 22nd for you fuckers. Anyway, from me and all the me's, go fuck yourselves. Please come to my shows, buy my stuff for Christmas. Uh, can I have more ball back on Kindle still for 99p at the moment? And the emergency questions is going to be 99p after Christmas on Kindle. Don't tell anyone, it's a secret. Bye.